Start. All right, everybody, let's do this. The name of the job is freelance Java software engineer. Is it worth it? That's what we want to know, right? If you're watching this video, you're perhaps my mom or a friend of mine. <laughs> okay, seriously, perhaps you're a computer science student or you're considering that path by some obscure reasons. Or maybe, and most probably, you're just like me five years ago. A guy with a tech job, with a stable salary, with a stable lifestyle, with everything stable. Boring! Anyways, to answer the big question, we need to figure out some things about you and also we need to understand what freelancing is to figure out if it actually fits your lifestyle. Let's do it! Woo! I'm pretty sure a lot of you have an opinion about freelancing. Either you're one of them, or you have a friend that is a freelancer, or you just read some stuff on the internet. Today I'm gonna give you my opinion about it, so please take it easy in the comments. I'm gonna give you my perspective on it from the lenses of a Java software engineer. If you hear something that you don't agree or you think it's wrong, please leave it a comment below. We're gonna discuss it in good terms, no violence, no hate. So I wanna define freelancing like in a scale, you know? We're gonna put the positives and the negatives or to be more precise, we're gonna be talking about what it is and what it's not, freelancing is not having a contract with an employer on a permanent basis. Freelancing is also not having a stable income or salary. You got no bonus, you have no health insurance, you have no transport assistance. So all of those perks that a company gives to you, forget about it. You're not gonna get them. Oh, 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 you know about retirement? You know, when the company puts money in your retirement fund and all that? Well. You ain't got that as well. Okay, I think you're about to leave the video and hit the hammer on the table and say freelancing is crap. Well, one th good thing about freelancing is that you don't pay taxes as an employee. All right, enough of the bad stuff. Let's talk about some good stuff. Let's define what freelancing is. So freelancing is having a temporary contract agreement with a client. It's being paid by the hours instead of being paid by the month. You gotta take care of yourself. That means transport, food, health insurance. It's all supposed to be taken by yourself. You're independent, you're a freelancer. You will have to take care of your own retirement. I know that sounds like, whoa, but it's not that hard actually. It's quite simple and it's even more powerful than letting the government Take care of your retirement. And I will show you later what I'm talking about here. And now my favorite, being freelancer, you get taxed as a small business. There are so many advantages about that. As you can see, a freelancer is a person that undertakes a certain level of risk. But where the majority see risk, a few see opportunity. It all comes down to how much you're willing to get out of your comfort zone. Being an employee on a permanent position usually means safety. Means that you will get paid a certain amount of money every month. That's why the banks love to give loans to people like that. If you have a stable job, the bank knows that you're gonna pay in the loan, so you're a great investment. And also, of course, you have the stability of the permanent contract. Well, not lately, if you work for Twitter, Facebook, Microsoft, Google, well, heads are rolling there, huh? On the other hand, you're a freelancer. Future is uncertain. You know that you have some work to be done in the next months, maybe six, maybe nine, maybe 12 months, you know what's coming. But then what's next? You need to figure out, you need to find the next client. By the way, banks, they don't like freelancers. Obvious reasons. When it comes to work as a Java software engineer, there's not much difference if you're a freelancer or if you're an employee. Because you're gonna get hired to a team and you're gonna attend the same meetings, you're gonna be coding on the same code base, you're gonna be designing the same system. 
it's pretty much the same. The only difference is that as a freelancer, you will be handling all of the business part, all of the payments, invoices. Right now, I work in a team with five other software engineers. I am the only freelancer in that team. And guess what? We do the same stuff. By the way, if you're curious about knowing how a day of a software engineer looks like, please check my other video, A Day in the Life of a Software Engineer. It's really cool. Look, in the end of the day, it all comes down to what's more important for you. It's like when Morpheus gives those pills to Neo. Not those pills. On one hand, you have freedom. On the other hand, you chill. If you like to play it safe, maybe you have a family, or you need a stable income, or maybe you are even trying to reach higher ranks inside of a corporation, like management, or become a director, or a senior tech lead, or something like that, then you definitely should stay in the company as an employee. But if you want to have the possibility to make two or even three times more than you make as an employee, and you want to have the freedom to choose your clients, your working hours, the location where you work from, and live the digital lifestyle, then freelancing is definitely for you. I was going to talk about more topics here in this video, but the script got too big, so I decided to break it up in smaller chunks and make shorter videos so you don't get bored to death. In the next videos, I'm gonna talk about more stuff that's gonna make a freelance Java ninja out of you. Achievement unlocked. So subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Press the notification bell so you don't miss on the next videos because they're gonna be loaded in content and they're gonna help you a lot in your future freelancing career. Thanks for watching. Ciao.